it's just been a different it's been different topics that the Lord just really just been um, it's just been a lot of different things that the Lord has just been speaking to me about just especially just about the marriage thing and the spouse and what it really looks like to uh, what it really looks like to be patient for that person just because he's revealed to me of the the seriousness of the me laying my life down for my wife mm-hmm. like I can't just pick just somebody like mm-hmm. it's this person that I'm gonna get, devote my whole self to mm-hmm. and um, he's been just been showing me that just in, his, just in scripture just how he said just how uh, I think he said it's no greater love than this to, to lay down your life for a friend lay my life down for one's friend mm-hmm. and just seeing how Jesus laid his life down for the disciples for the church that's how I'm supposed to lay my life down for my spouse and um, it's mm-hmm. he's just been revealing to me how, how much of a serious thing it is mm-hmm. and, um, and yeah so just teaching me through that and just teaching me through different stuff my mind's going to me right now but, but yeah, it's just a just a seriousness of not just picking a spouse but really praying for the spouse now and, and um, just sowing seeds with the Lord just uh, just praying for your spouse and, and like you said being specific with the Lord you know he takes into account what you like and and what's best for you as well so yeah. you know he's just really intentional just being just teach me about being intentional with stuff yeah. too and just yeah just he really I, he really built to me was like Cameron how would you be able to lay your life down for your wife you can't lay your life down for me mm-hmm. so yeah. you know so just really on, focusing guys. on loving the Lord and through loving the Lord, I'll be able to lay my life down, mm-hmm. not only for my spouse, but for my friends yeah. as well. Because yeah. that's where it Good. starts, is with laying my life down for my brothers and sisters here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the Lord preparing me through that. So, <clears throat> so, yeah, just a lot of different stuff. Wow, that's so good. Yeah. Good word, bro. Yeah. yeah. I want to touch on that, dude. I feel like... And Dear was saying, ask and you shall, re- you will receive, right? Mm-hmm. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you, mm-hmm. right? And I feel like as we go deeper in loving him and receiving his love, right? Um, he starts to put things in our hearts, right? And just like, for example, this clothing line, uh, starting a Christian clothing line. And so many times we want all the steps in order, right? But God's saying, just take the next step, right? Mm-hmm. As I was taking that next step, things just started to open up. And I was like, all right, Lord, what colors do you want? What, you know, what, what do you want that this will look like? Like every detail, he's like, no, I want you to, to design. I want you to design and create what's in your heart, right? Because uh, when he can start to trust you and you love him more, there's love, there's trust, right? And um, he's put creativity inside of our hearts for a reason. He wants us to use our hearts. He wants us to, it's just like in math, you know, they... Uh, this is a worldly example, but it applies. Like, they want to teach you to start to think, like, uh, like, you know, being uh, your, how do you say it, your own problem solver or whatever. Like, critical thinking. Critical thinking, cri- critical <laughs> thinking like, whatever. But that's that's what the Lord's doing with us, right? When He's molding us. Like, what what do you really want? You know what I mean? Like, what <clears throat> what's inside of your heart to create and design? But what do you want out of somebody? And it's like so many times in the relationships, where you get into relationships and like. I'm not even sure this is the type of person that, you know, like, I want to move forward with, you know? And those are all learning processes to see what's really in our heart and what God has put there. But I feel at the end of the day, you know, let's go deeper with the Lord and not settle for what's good, but what's for great in every area of our life. That's so good. So, That's so good. You got something, bro? I know you got something. I mean... Basically, the key thing God's really been putting on my heart is just like what family looks like for the body of Christ. Yeah. And just. Bro, uh, you love this right now, I bet. This is awesome, man. Yeah, I, I love fellowship. So it's part of it. But basically, he was just kind of speaking to me like, he's like, Justin, like, as a, like, 
as a dad, what is the most important thing that a dad could want? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, it's not how smart his kids are. Mm -hmm. It's not like how much they know, not how much they can do whatever, you know? It's that they truly just enjoy one another. Mm -hmm. You know, that your kids get along with each other and that your kids learn how to enjoy you. You know, and one of the first things that God spoke to me before I really even knew what the Holy Spirit was, but I heard God speak to me, he said, don't pursue, pa or, don't pursue pleasure, pursue joy. When you come to me, like, it's not always just about worship, it's just enjoy me as your dad. Yeah. And that, in turn, will feed your soul. It'll wow. feed your spirit. Yeah. When you come together as a body, it's not always about having Bible study or doing something actually super spiritual, you know, in Acts it said that they broke bread house to house daily. And it said that they, they had all things in common. They met together daily in house to house and in the marketplace. And they, they gained a good reputation throughout the entire region. You know what yeah. I mean? He was just like, learn to enjoy your brothers and sisters. If my whole purpose is to enjoy y'all, if something upsets me, I'm the, I don't have to bring it up because I'm, that doesn't move me towards the goal of just enjoying y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and and that brings unity, that brings love, you know what I mean? And you enjoy your dad, you enjoy your brothers and sisters, mm. but then lastly, like every dad wants his children to represent his name well, mm. you know what I mean? And so it's like, wow. learn to enjoy me, yeah. learn to enjoy each other, quit having agendas, just come together and like, just live and it'll feed you. Mm. You know, you'll be fed, you'll get the nutrients you need to be healthy. Yeah. And then from that place of fulfillment, go out and represent him well. Come on. By loving well, serving well, and, and just carrying on the family yeah. legacy. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's that, good. That, that's that, good. That, that, that reminds me of that conversation we had in the kitchen, like, well, how many weeks ago? A couple weeks ago? Couple what weeks ago. was God's oh, heart? Oh, yeah. I asked him. Was that when you, you? Yeah, it was. It was, when, it was, it was when Jesus. Yeah, broke when Jesus out. broke out in the kitchen. Yeah. 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 Oh, we, said, we said when God created, you know, from the foundation of the earth, and we had an image of what his bride was going to look like. Yeah. Was it really just for us to come together once a week on Sunday, oh, yeah. listen, you know, sing three songs, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, listen to a 15 minute announcement video, listen to a 40 minute message, have 10 minutes for Holy Spirit to do something, and then leave and never see each other? Mm -hmm. wow. Or was there something that you really intended? Yeah, that, that was excellent, was like, cool. bro. We were up to like five in the morning talking yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then the next night we were in here talking about it, just Holy it just sparked up this question. It's like, how is is how we do church now how God envisioned his bride. church to his bride to live. I think I just found angel feather. And we, we were yeah. we, we were simply we were simply talking about Jesus <laughs> in the kitchen. Sorry. We were simply talking about him and who he is and about how his heart is for unity mm -hmm. in the body and unity and one with him. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, his presence came into the kitchen. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> hey guys! Yeah, you got my ankle. Are they gonna put it in the bro? You got it. Thank you. Uh, yesterday afternoon. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you're good. 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 Yeah, you just sit the bus. Hey, 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 hey